God doesn't give us a spirit of fear, but he gives us a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. That's what Paul was telling Timothy. He was saying, listen, Tim, listen, listen, Tim. You have to understand that the faith that's inside of you, your grandmother had it, your mother had it, and you have it. And you cannot walk around here timid or shy, but you must fan it into the flames. That's what he says when you go a couple of scriptures. Fan your gift into the flames, which means to intensify what God is giving you. Some of us are walking around here with fear. Fear that something's not going to happen in our life. Fear that something's not going to appear. Fear that a calling may not be fulfilled. Fear that the dreams may not come true. But I'm here to tell you that all of those are false evidence appearing real. But they're not real. It's what the enemy tries to do to keep you stuck in a place where you can't think that your faith is moving things when your faith is moving things because you have the power to do it. The love to compel you and the sound mind to think you through it. See, the reason why God says he doesn't give us a spirit of fear is because God's spirit is within us and he does not have a spirit of fear in his spirit but his spirit is powerful which is where we get the power his spirit is loving which is why we're able to love even when some people aren't worthy of our love and his spirit has a sound mind which is why we can sometimes think through things and you can be like, man, God, how did I get that? And you know that it only came from him because he doesn't think in the same way that we think. But if we carry his spirit, then it gives us a sound mind to be able to overcome anything. So don't let the fear stop you. Don't let the false evidence get in the way of what it is that your faith is trying to do in your life because you have a spirit of faith deep down inside of you. You have a calling on your life. You have a purpose. You have a place that God is trying to take you. So don't ever allow the spirit of fear to creep up against you and try to stand there and make you think that that false evidence is real because it just appears to be real because your faith is what's real. What you're believing for is what's tangible. What you know that God has told you and promised you for your life is going to manifest. That's what you have to hold on to. You have to hold on to the fact that God, the, that he is so wonderful that he allowed you to carry his spirit, which then gives you the power to overcome situations, which then allows you to love people like you never could have loved on your own, which then allowed you to have a sound mind and think things through and be wise in areas that you never Never would have been wise in had it not been for his spirit had it not been for your God so don't allow the spirit of fear to come in your life and make you be afraid and make you think something's not gonna happen and make you think you're not good enough and make you think that everything you've been waiting for is not gonna manifest because I'm here to tell you that you got a spirit of power love and a sound mind that's gonna do things for you that you never would have thought as long as you stay faithful to God and faithful in your walk and understanding who you are because you have a purpose. You carry the power, you carry the love, and you carry the sound mind inside of you. So you tell the enemy, you better bag back because all of that is not gonna happen because I've got the spirit of the living God inside of me giving me power to push on, love, to love everyone around me, good or bad, and a sound mind to be able to stay wise and think through whatever it is I need so I can make it to where you're trying to get me to go. Be bold today. Be bold and walk in your power and walk in your love and walk in your clear mind. I hope you were blessed by this message. I decree and declare abundance and favor over your life and I will see you next week.